And now let's get back to Pose ATL. Now, Brian, I thought we buried that dead chihuahua that was on your head. Why'd you dig it up and put it back? She looks a little too crispy. Now, Phyllis, why you gotta be condescending about Brian singing? That was the first time I heard you sing, and we all hope it's the last time we hear him sing. Oh, now Phyllis thinks he's part of the family? We don't like you, Heffa. In fact, the episodes without you were the best episodes. I like Brian, Chandrika, Torian, but you? No, no, boo-boo. Candy, I'ma need you to get your cousin. Now, I am all for the entrepreneurial spirit. I'm all for it. But girl, you let him name something Poo? Poo. I don't care if it's P-E-A-U, P-O-O. Anytime there is a doo-doo alert, that's a problem. That's a problem. It's a doo-doo alert. A doo-doo alert. As in the idea ain't shit. Shout out to one of my favorite TikTokers. I forgot her name, but you know her. She always be reading in the microphone with a real New York accent. And sometimes there's a doo-doo alert. But this is a doo-doo alert. Poo confiant. A poo means skin en français. Confident skin. Okay, that's... It's cute if you know French like that. But... Uh, poo... Poo, Torin, I like you, but I just don't know if this Eric Badu on and on head wrap is the look for you. I mean, ah, uh, you're feeling kind of hungry. A oh, one, two, three. Oh, ladies in a gang. And Todd's being short as Bertha's temper. You know you gotta eat at the old lady gang. Is, is that what we trying to do? So he doing a photo shoot for these walls. And he needs Torrid and Safari to be collaborating creative directors. Don Juan gonna have his shirt off. Ain't nobody trying to see that bird chest. I'm sorry, Don Juan looks underdeveloped clothed. He got that blue bow wow runt bill. He a head molotti, that head's too big. Don Juan, don't worry, nobody wants to see you shirtless and oiled up talking about your poo. We don't want to see you. Honey, we barely want to see you on the show. Oh, Lord. So Torin, Dom, Chandri, and Brian all sit down to dinner. Brian gonna say my hair frizzing up. Child plastic can't frizz. That's what happens when you get a cheap wig and the plastic just starts to break down. That wig is breaking down on an atomic level. The neutrons and the ions just ain't having it. And you can spray shit on it all you want, Brian, but you can't activate the curl in an acrylic wig. Give that back to Aunt Nora. Just give it back. She can rock that crispiness in a way you can. But Torin tells them about the photo shoot for Poo Confident, and nobody's really in a rush to smell the shit. Okay, this is... A first in reality show history. This is the first time, I believe this is the first time, in all my years of watching these shows that I have heard, you know, when they come back com from commercial break and they're playing a little song, that I actually shazammed it. Uh, from when they come back from the first commercial break, that song, I was like, I want to hear this. It is... I guess you pronounce it Kianiya, K-I-A-N-I-A, and the song is After Five. It's a shimmy bop. Oh, the album is After Five. The song is Dancing with the Lights. It gave me like a cool, like 80s SOS band tee. I never knew this was real music. Oh, girl, this real good. This real good. Download it, honey. Download it. It's on YouTube. It's a bop. This is a bop. It's about time Candy is a music expert. Better than anything I've never heard on love and hip hop. This is the first bop of the summer. It ain't summer yet, but this is, this is a cute spring bop. This is a spring bop. Like it could be a sister track to Why Don't We Fall In Love. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to finish the show. I want to listen to this and pack for the beach. But back to the story. Well, now that we're done with our little music break, 
We got Brian and Melvin checking out food trucks because Brian's going to be presenting to Todd to see if he wants to buy into the egg roll business. But I'm with Melvin, Brian. Um, a black truck with gold lettering and some pink. You really want to be in a hot black food truck in the Atlanta sun? Why are you going to run your air conditioning that much higher? I'd get a white truck that reflected the sunlight so it wouldn't get as hot in the vehicle. But that's just me. That's just me. A black eye pea egg roll. I don't know about the consistency of that. A salmon egg roll. Uh -uh. I've never been a fan of fried salmon. I believe salmon should be baked. Just tastes better to me. Have I had good fried salmon? You know what? I'm going to try it again. I, I, I can't remember having it. I might not have had it because who fries salmon? But I'm going to try it. It might be good. I might not know what I'm missing. I imagine it's like fried lobster, though, which I think is just ruining it. Like, I'm not even that big of a fan of lobster mac and cheese. I feel like it toughens the meat. Like, it's supposed to be, you know, a light steam, just enough to kill the bacteria. But it should still be, you know, soft, not rubbery. And I feel like it gets rubbery when you cook it for too long. It's a tender meat. So the food trucks is running about 70K, which isn't bad for a business, for your storefront, basically. That's not bad at all. I mean, if you could find places to park for free or see what parking permits you get from the city, now that. That I would be more interested in. How much will your business license and your business parking be? But 70 grand, that and also that means you can pay that fucker off. You rent a space, you're going to be renting forever. And also with depreciation, you could write that joker off. There's some financial viability and flexibility with food trucks. Child, Sean Drieger didn't have a whole ass story arc. She went from the pariah of the restaurant to now we moving her to head bartender. So was she ever really a problem or did she just know how to play up for the camera? They showed us Dom doing a little eight count. I don't know why, but then we go over to tour and getting ready for this photo shoot. And he said, look, I'm gonna give you a little Michelle Bridge, maybe a little Kelly chorus, but you ain't getting a Beyonce note. Oh Lord, why did they let Don Juan model? Girl, no. Girl, no. Y'all just wasting film. You wasting camera battery. Candy said, where's the real photographer? Now, you know you gave them a $30 budget for this. They ain't got real photographer money. I'm surprised it's not a disposable camera. I mean, Candy, I figured if he asked you for some advice, you would have told him not to name the business after a bowel movement. Uh -huh. So to lighten the mood, Brian comes in with some t-shirts of Phyllis's Instagram thirst traps. And honey, you can have all the body out of you want, but I wouldn't want to be around you for 10 seconds. You're cute, but there's nothing behind your eyes. Certainly not kindness. Beautiful body, boring soul. I got to say, Todd does not look bad at all. At all, those abs were together. You go ahead, little Lord Sherlock. However, since Dom is leaving, we got to sit down with Donna Juana, Phyllis, and our inch high lovebirds to get a new bartender. Oh, they got a heifer got forgot drunk on the job interview. How you get drunk on an interview? Because you know Candy didn't give her no free drinks. Ooh, ooh, she drunky, boo. And this is Phyllis's brother's girlfriend. Mm-hmm. However, with Brian, Todd stopping by to talk egg rolls. $12 for three egg rolls. Do I like egg rolls that much? Sounds kind of high. I got to agree with Todd. Brian is peculiar. This cookies and cream wig is peculiar. A briar's tea. So Todd says, okay, this is good food. For 50%, we can pop it up in the next six months. I take the money. Brian, you really acting like you got something to think about. The next day, we have Dom's going away party, so they get one of them drinking bike things. I don't know why anybody wants to pedal while they're drinking. Seems like too much effort. Are we going to the gym or to the bar? I don't think we need to mix the two. But Brandon says he wants to have some babies with Dom. Um, let her tour for a couple years. 
Somebody said, are y'all equally yoked to have children? And he gonna say, we flirted with those conversations. Child, have a dog first, a puppy. Have a puppy first, then see if you can do a baby. A baby is more than a conversation. It feels good to say I want kids. The words feel good in your mouth, but wait until them shitty diapers is in your hand. This is a different story. Oh, Lord. So Phyllis and Donna want to go and try to psych Chandrika out when they giving her her promomo. No, y'all just shot that so y'all could have a little cliffhanger in your interstitial and act like, oh, they're going to fire Chandrika. Please. Why y'all got to insult our intelligence every 10 minutes? We knew that was coming. And we're going to close it out with Patrick asking Safari's pappy for permission to propose. Oh, the dad said, uh, whatever my daughter wants, I'll support it. Damn, it's not a glowing recommendation. Well, that was the shit, so I'll see you soon for something.